Welcome to the Wicked RJ channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing that thermal grizzly experiment we were talking about. I use thermal grizzly on the processor and both the video cards. And one of the little experiments I did with it is one of the video cards had the good thermal paste and the other one had your regular. Now when it was sitting on their idle, it was fine. It was about the same temperature. But once you put a load on it, um, the video card with the uh, regular thermal paste ran about 15 degrees hotter. But we're talking about the warning. Do not use with aluminum heat sinks. Went to the Dungeon of Doom and I found us an old school Pentium processor and this is your aluminum heat sink to go with it. So we're going to do some Frankenstein mess here. We'll use the power supply, everything from these guts here. We'll power this thing up. We'll get some baseline numbers off of regular thermal paste and then we'll go into using some thermal grizzly. See the difference? See just what happens. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Now that she's all together, ready to see what's going to happen, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this pin in here. All right. And the Frankenstein comes along. <laughs> Quick update. Running for a couple hours and uh, no changes. Guess we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Doing the thermal grizzly experiment, I come over and there's stuff everywhere and the computer shut down. What is this thing? Where did that come from? Dude, there's this stuff everywhere, Justin. And then this is just laying up here. I don't know where it came from. What? I don't know what exploded. Let's see what we can find out. All right, so uh, I think we may have found where this is. Let's see if we can get a light up in here. Part of the heat sink has come apart. Literally come apart from the inside. So, uh... It appears <laughs> that uh, the Thermal Grizzly conducto nut has destroyed this thing faster than what I was expecting it to. I was expecting days and maybe I had to let it sit here for a little while before it actually destroyed that aluminum. But it appears that it's been quick. Uh, when did we put this thing in, man? Uh, Five hours ago, maybe? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. <laughs> well... Let's take it apart and see what's going on. Give it to me. Well, so I was expecting kind of worse considering what I was seeing inside of here. But it looks like it definitely started eating it up. I mean, look at that powder corrosion in there. That's just, uh, I'm not sure. If... 
and it's already starting on this side you can see it so yeah definitely don't use conductile nut on the uh man, look at the look at the black marks it left on the cpu this stuff still it's still pliable ish <laughs> Well, the thermal grizzly test definitely turned out interesting. I definitely wouldn't use it with aluminum heat sinks. So if you're thinking about that, definitely don't do it. I was not expecting it to affect the aluminum that quickly, or maybe even not that severe. I wasn't sure what really to expect. I was part of this whole test anyways. However, that aside, um, I like to talk about the thermal grizzly. I've had it now in my system here for a couple months and I'm very happy with it. Before, I was using this stuff called IC Diamond, 24 karat, it was supposed to be really good stuff, and it, it was compared to just regular uh, thermal paste. The problem I was having is uh, I was able to achieve a 4.2 overclock stable, but under a full load and benchmarking, I would hit TJ Maxx and I would start throttling back, even though the temperature and the coolant and the block was, you know, cool it wasn't really raising any degrees I just wasn't able to wick away the heat fast enough so I uh, started researching to see what I could come up with and that's when I found the thermal grizzly liquid metal thermal paste and thought I'd give it a shot and uh, it does very well I was able to uh, apply that thermal grizzly and uh, be able to do my 4.2 overclock with benchmarking and still be 5c under my maximum TJ Maxx so I was pretty impressed with that I got better benchmarks out of it and uh, so I did the video cards after that the video cards even ran a lot cooler and been pretty happy with uh, the whole thing so I definitely recommend using the thermal grizzly I'll put a leak below some good stuff here I just uh, I want to use it with aluminum <laughs> definitely uh, definitely heed their warning on that Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Catch you next time. Well, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to see what happens when we unplug it. Ah. <laughs> That's not the way the fucking video is supposed to go. <laughs>